Alright, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a menu I've been working on for Cyberpunk 2077. So, this menu is called the Entity Inspector, and it allows you to inspect entities in in game. So, let's just jump straight into it. So, I'm going to use this entity over here, or this NPC as an example. So, when we bring up the Inspector here, it brings up two windows. Uh, this will probably be changed in the future, but at the moment it's two windows. Uh, so, the bottom one is the main window that contains basically everything for the menu or the, the entity inspector uh, and the top one is the entity inspector itself uh, so which branches off the debug menu so um, I'll go over the debug menu first so we've got settings this is where we change settings related to the mod uh, debug stuff you know game information you know we can change our characters uh, position and whatnot uh, you know stuff like that and uh, some other dumb stuff down here. You can press, you know, if you want cops, you can get some cops. You know, stuff like that. And uh, you've got all objects in view. So this just uh, returns all the objects that you currently see in the view. And there are some actions you can do on them at the moment. Uh, you can bring these down and save them uh, to use elsewhere. But that's just, that's just what, this is just what it is at the moment. Um, I'll go over uh, this, this stuff here later. So, if we go to the main tab, this is where your saved entities are. Uh, the player is always in here, so you can open, the, open up the player uh, yourself and maybe inspect yourself or edit yourself. So, um, now let's go to the entity inspector itself. So, it will likely be a button down here that you open up to open the inspector, but at the moment it's just open by default um, all the time. So, uh, we've got three tabs here. Uh, the first one is where you view variables and view certain things about the entity. Uh, the second one is where you can edit the entity. The third one is where you can, you know, um, save the entity you're looking at. So this is a guy, for example. So I'll go over the second one first because it's the quickest. So this is a male man. <laughs> male man. Who says that shit? So if we save this, it gets saved down here. And basically we can bring it down and open it up. And now we have another window for this guy, and we can look away, and he will be still open in this tab here. Um, let's combine these windows, so the... Yeah, there we go. So you can see, um, I'm looking away, but uh, it's still showing up here. And, yes, so... Now, uh, given this stuff, uh, even with this window, you can do it with whatever. Uh, you can do it with this one, this one, doesn't really matter. Uh, you can view their stats or variables, so if I bring this down, there's a bunch of variables here you can look at. I'm not fully done uh, adding all of these, so some of them aren't really uh, correctly done, or just I'm missing completely. But, um, this is what's here at the moment, so you can see their, their world position, you know, the, the transform. He keeps moving, so I think it's getting something behind him. Yeah, Let's see what they switches to. Anyway, uh, let's go to this so it doesn't do that. Uh, with the... Okay. So he gets moving and my cursor keeps hitting something behind him. But yeah, we can get his position, uh, his XYZ, W, uh, you know, his game object data, his name. So it says NC Resident, if you scan him. Uh, we'll show his actual name. And we've got a bunch of other statistics. Uh, you can search for things, like is dead. Uh, if he's dead or, you know, it's false or he's not dead, stuff like that. Um, bring all this away. We got the game pub stuff, you know, his attitude, you know, his attitude group of civilian, you know, stuff like that. Uh, some weird stuff going. If you see stuff like this, it just means it hasn't been added in properly, and it's just sort of, it's just sort of there. I'll just put it there so that I'm aware. Um, but yeah, um, don't worry about that stuff. You know, you can see a lot of different things. His velocity, for whatever reason, his body type is male average. Uh, it's currently equipped with items, which I guess he doesn't have any. Um, that garbage. What items he has on him. You know, he has uh, an umbrella small. Uh, awesome. And he also has a cigarette, uh, which I guess he just started smoking. And you can see that stuff there, and whatnot. Now, a better example is actually the player. If I open up the player here, and we... I don't mind this, because it's not letting me switch. Uh, we go to the player, um, game object, and we look at the items. You know, there's a bunch of items here, <laughs> uh, because my player has a bunch of items, so uh, that all shows up in here, uh, which is pretty good. 
and uh, yeah, let's close all of those and open the dude back up. So yeah, that's the view tab. Uh, edit tab is just basic. This is pretty basic at the moment. There's not much in here, but you know, you can do some basic things. You can basically edit the edit entity in certain ways, add, remove uh, god mode, change their appearance, um, destroy them, kill them, you know, teleport to them. You know, if I, um, if I teleport to them, you know, I'm in here with them. Uh, you can't really teleport entities at the moment, or you can't move them. I don't know why. I mean, uh, not entities, NPCs. Uh, you can do it with cars and stuff, but I don't know. Uh, NPCs are broken for whatever reason. Uh, now I'm stuck in here, so I need to get out. There we go. And yes, so. Um, just a quick example. I'll kill this guy, just to show you. There we go, he's now dead. Pretty crazy. And let's find a car. Uh, I guess I'll start with one of my own because there's none around for whatever reason. And yes, so uh, just to show you this other stuff working, uh, he's dead. I mean, uh, let's just destroy him so this goes away. Okay, for some reason it's still sticking around. Not too sure why that is. Uh, close it. Uh, we got this here, uh, this car, so we'll save this car real quick just to show you the the other stuff working. Um, open it up, go to here, go to edit, and you can see here, I can move the car around. And yeah, I can rotate it whatever way I like. And you can also type numbers in here, so as you can see, rotate it as you like. Probably, it's probably hard to see, to be honest. Um, make this a little bit smaller so you can actually fucking see what I'm doing. There you go. Rotate this as well. You know, you can you can really do anything. It's up to your imagination, really. You know, go to this car, do the same thing. Just, you know, just rotate them 90 degrees for whatever reason. Um, I don't think the game liked that too much. Uh, I, yeah, I don't think it likes me uh, editing NPC stuff. But, I mean, it can be done. I guess. Yeah, so you can see when I rotate the stuff, it, it sort of reverts it. But since uh, when I have it selected, I can't do it. Um, it, <laughs> it sort of lets me do it. Uh, yeah, so if I change this to like 8 or something. Yeah, it's, it's not liking that now, is it? It's not liking that. Um, Go away. Leave me alone. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's pretty cool, eh? Um, Oh yeah, there's other things you can do as well. I just I just added all objects and view thing. So if you open this up, it basically is the same thing as what's in settings. Uh, you can bring this down and save things. Uh, you can also run certain functions on what's in this list. So, you know, destroy. Uh, just destroy everything in that list. As you can see, um, you can do the same with kill. They're just little examples. Um, just getting my bearings around in my menu. You know, I kill a bunch of people. You know, this dude in this car, you can just occasionally kill him. I guess he survived somehow. There we go. See you later. And, yeah. Very good. Bring this up, because I'm not using that at the moment. <laughs> mm. I don't know how they haven't fixed that bug. This bug where they go flying up in the sky when you kill them. Like, even I know what, what that is. Like, I don't know how they haven't fixed that yet. Yeah, there you go. Whoa! <laughs> he did some crazy moves there. I don't know what that was. And you can destroy them all, you know. Um, yeah, just be aware when you're loop when you're doing it on all these different things, it it can be very bad for the game. Uh, one stage I pressed destroy all when there were a lot of things in view, and the game just just didn't like it and crashed. So, yeah. Um, you know, uh, let me give you an example. So let's uh, let's go far away. Oh, this wants me to fall, which I don't want. No, um, two hundred maybe. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Bit of a weird way to do this, but you know, it's going to be done. I don't know where this hill is. So I'm just going to slowly... There we go. Alright, now I'm way out of bounds. Um, I don't actually know where I am, to be honest. But, 
Yeah, no, that's the general gist of that. Um, yeah, no, uh, let me know what you, what, uh, you guys think. And, you know, what you think I should, you know, do. If you like the UI or not, whatnot. I think the UI should be a bit different. You know, hit me up. Um, there's also a filter here. Did I go over that? I can't remember. Who really cares? Um, you know, you can search things. I think I already did. I kind of forget things pretty quick when um, uh, they're not needed in my brain. I'm like, I don't need that anymore as soon as I say it and it just gets deleted. And then I forget. Yeah, but... Yeah, so hopefully this uh, this menu uh, will help people out with their their journey or their modding journeys or or something like that. Uh, this, the source code for this will be on GitHub. So you can look at it. I I don't really care um, if people look at it. You know, I like it when stuff's open source because I can see how things work. You know, if stuff wasn't open source, I probably wouldn't have been able to even make this thing because I also looked at what other people did. <laughs> it's just a way of life. Um, yep. That's basically that. Um, hope you liked the video, and see you later.